Today, we will be covering the eight strategies to strengthen the emotional and physical connection that you have with your partner. So often, as most of you know, those moments of disconnect and distance can be very frustrating, and you can be filled with feelings of sadness, loneliness, rejection, and hurt in those moments when you are experiencing conflict and tension in your relationship. It's my hope with this video today that you will walk away with some really simple and practical tools and strategies that you can use to deepen your emotional and physical connection with your partner. But before we get started, I'd like you to take a moment and fill out the relationship survey. This is really important because it allows you to get a clear read and a clear picture on where are the strengths in your relationship and where are those areas that need some fine tuning and some improvement. This will be really helpful moving forward for the rest of the video so then that way you can really take away the most value that this video has to offer. So go ahead and pause the video, fill out that survey, and then when you're complete and done, come on back and then hit play again and we can continue. So now that you have completed your survey, you have a clear picture of the strengths in your relationship as well as those areas of growth and improvement. So why don't we go ahead and dive right in to this action-packed video today. The first way to connect with your partner on an emotional level is to practice the art of gratitude and joy. By focusing your attention on the values, strengths, characteristics, and gifts that your partner has to offer and really celebrating the uniqueness of your partner and how much you appreciate and are grateful for who they are and what they offer and contribute to the relationship will really raise the frequency level in your relationship to move you away from the negative toxic energy of anger and frustration up to a higher level of frequency of more love and expansion in your relationship. Number two is compassion. Having compassion towards yourself and your partner allows for tenderness to occur in the relationship. By being able to be sensitive to one another's feelings and needs, we ultimately nurture this compassion in the relationship. Next, an important factor is to love with your whole heart. Now, wholehearted loving includes being able to love, take risks, without having any guarantees at all. This allows you to really open yourself up as opposed to trying to guard and protect yourself. The last emotional way of connecting with your partner is to be deeply seen. Now, oftentimes when fear gets in the way, we're fearful of rejection, we're fearful of getting hurt, we're fearful of uh, experiencing shame or sadness, that we can tend to guard ourselves and wear a mask of protection. So an important thing to do if you really are committed to allowing love and acceptance to enter into your life and into your heart is to really take off the mask and allow yourself to be fully seen for who you are. What this allows you to do is to really have an opportunity for contact and connection to occur so that you can really experience the love and joy that relationships have to offer. Now I'm going to cover the four strategies to strengthen your physical connection with your partner. Number one is foreplay. Now, an important thing to be aware of regarding foreplay is that foreplay does not happen just two to three minutes before intercourse. Foreplay is something that happens hours, if not days, before intercourse. And foreplay consists of various different strategies, whether it be uh, saying words of affirmation towards your partner, hugging your partner, doing some random act of kindness towards your partner, uh, being able to massage your partner or caress your partner, kiss your partner. The next way to deepen your physical connection with your partner is through the art of mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is about being presently aware non-judgmentally. So often in this day and age, we are so busy running around with our to-do list and things that we have to go do and places we have to be or worries of the past or concerns about the future and it can really pull us away from the present moment and the gift of the present moment with our partner especially in that physical moment of contact you can do this by making eye contact with your partner 
uh, connecting with your body and your breath. And anytime that your mind gets distracted or wanders off uh, in different directions than the present moment, you just gently bring yourself back to the present moment with your partner. What I'm going to cover next is advice for men and advice for women. So advice for women is to really know your body to really become curious on what pieces of sensations or gestures are really stimulating for you. Knowing your body and being able to clearly identify what those are will allow you to communicate that to your partner and be empowered. An important aspect to consider for us as women is to connect with our feminine energy. So if you think about our feminine energy, it's about pleasure, it's about play, it's about fun and creativity. So by allowing yourself to tap into that creativity and playfulness in your own life, wearing bright colors, really listening to music that is uplifting for you, and really in those moments of physical contact with your partner to be playful and fun and sensual, uh, will be a way of opening yourself up to the inner goddess that you are. Another piece is to initiate sex uh, at times in your relationship. When a woman does not initiate sex, a man can feel really rejected and unloved by their partner. So it's really important to take the time to initiate sex and that physical contact with your partner so you can really fill up his love bank account. The last piece is to avoid any heavy conversations, either before, during, or after sex. So women, keep that on hold uh, for another period of time. So the advice for men is that you allow yourself to take your time and enjoy the journey as opposed to the destination of the physical act. What this will allow you to do is really get curious to discover your partner. For you men out there, it's really important for you to get curious about what pleases your partner. Ask questions, uh, explore with her, identify what the hot spots are for her. Another important piece for men is to know that the clitoral area of a woman has the most uh, nerve endings on a woman's genitalia area. So really honing in on this area and really mastering the art of providing pleasure to your partner in this way will really expand the horizons of her pleasure and ultimately the pleasure in the relationship as a whole. So getting creative and really understanding different strategies and variety, tempos and paces will be really helpful for you to cultivate that aspect of your relationship. Another important piece for you men out there is really the art of foreplay. Really creating a nurturing environment both in words and actions to cherish your woman so that she really feels appreciated for all that she is, not just her physical appearance, but also her mind, uh, her attributes, what she contributes to the relationship. But I'm really celebrating her in the bedroom as well as outside the bedroom, she will be really feel really loved by you. And for you men out there, last piece of advice is to not fall asleep right after sex. Now, this is an important thing to know that men's uh, heart slows down, uh, they tend to be tired afterwards. So women don't take it personally if they fall asleep. But also, you men out there really understand that a woman's central nervous system needs to be self-soothed and regulated after sex because it can be very exciting uh, for them. So being able to cuddle them afterwards, hold them afterwards, is really part of the foreplay for next time that you both want to have sex. So I hope you really have benefited a tremendous amount from this video today. I hope you take this insight into your relationship and really see the positive impact that it can have in your relationship and in your life. In the next video, I will be sharing with you how to get unstuck, how to improve communication in 10 minutes or less. So often we're stuck in misunderstandings, confusion, feeling lost and frustrated with one another, stuck in conflict and hostility. And I'm gonna give you some really helpful strategies to be able to clear the playing field so you can really understand each other in a new way and get out of the negative communication cycle that so many couples get stuck in. I look forward to catching you next time.